Hi and welcome to Spring Vlog from Minsmere in Suffolk and we're back for another episode. Um, it's been our first full day here which has been packed full of amazing experiences. Um, we've had um, obscure and rare wader sightings, um, a close encounter with one of Minsmere's specialities and a ghost in the reed beds this evening. So stay tuned to find out what we've seen today. This is my money and I don't know sure. what it is or why I've got it. Why is um, Dad all the way back there? Um, because he needed a longer walk than us. No, is, actually, is I that forgot right? my binoculars. <laughs> it's you the first forgot morning. your binoculars. <laughs> first full day and our first hide of the day is North Hide and we've seen uh, a blue grit, there are uh, grey laggies, a couple of babies that we can see. After we left the North Hide we walked out over the, uh, across the north wall to the beach and enjoying a white throat singing beautifully as we went and this is our first proper sighting of a bittern as it flew across the reed beds. On the far side of the reserve you reach um, East Hyde which was particularly busy today um, probably mostly to do with um, a very small and almost missable <laughs> wader called a red-necked phalarope um, which probably has dropped in on its way to Iceland where it's going to spend the summer. We were also treated to um, amazing views of the common tern diving for fish um, a random pintail, a bit like the one, well exactly like the one that we saw recently at Innes here. A pair of shell duck and a really beautiful red shank probing in the mud for something good to eat. Although today has been absolutely amazing, we've seen some fantastic stuff, rare stuff. I still really love the whole baby thing. Um, <laughs> there were so many babies. There was, um, we started off seeing a moorhen with a couple of baby chicks, uh, the great crested grebe, which was sitting on a bank with the babies. And then as we turned away, it came into the water and the babies followed swimming along. Canada geese with babies, barnacle geese, um, grey lag geese with two babies and grey lag geese with even more babies and actually grey lag geese with more babies than is actually sensible. Um, we're now in this hide and last year it was adversets everywhere but we've just seen two adversets with babies and they're very, very tiny but they've already learned how to shuffle in the mud and get their food, they're amazing. We went to the north hide today and that overlooks what they call the scrape which is really basically sand poking up out of the water. And last year we went there and it was absolutely covered in adversets nesting and which was amazing. We kept going there trying to see the babies. But apparently there is a rogue badger who was swimming across and eating the babies live. So we were so pleased today to see that they have actually badger fenced right the way along, which will keep the naughty badger <laughs> away. <laughs> We're still on day one and it's not even lunchtime. Well, it kind of is lunchtime. We've uh, 
done the massive loop and we're heading back to the visitor centre and then we're going to go home for some lunch. Um, we've seen so much already, it's incredible. Um, some amazing birds that I didn't manage to capture on the camera. Um, just saw a couple of hobbies which you couldn't film, tried, failed. Just saw some bearded tits this morning, tried to film them, didn't quite work either. Um, so we're now back in the woods, which is very peaceful and beautiful. So Dad, what was your uh, favourite bit of the day so far? Well I think in the early part it was the giant rabbit and then followed by the small tiny rabbit which we could nearly touch. Oh my god, yeah. group of them. This evening we wander down to the island Mare Hyde, um, which is our usual spot to go in the evening because it's the closest one to us. Um, we were just looking at normal things out in the, in the uh, water there, you know, common things that we've seen before. And suddenly I saw at the corner of my eye some coming out of the reeds very close to the hide. And we discovered that it was a bittern just wandering along. Just before we arrived at Island Mere High, Dad and I were lucky enough to spot a bearded tit um, whizzing across the reeds, um, but sadly too fast to get any footage of. Um, however, a bit later on in the evening, we were so excited to see um, a, a beautiful white barn owl um, come drifting in, hunting across the reed beds. Um, I managed to get some footage, um, although it's a little bit blurry and a bit noisy because it was getting very dark. Um, but it's enough to see our lovely barn owl. And that's how our first full day at Minsmere finished. Um, so join us again tomorrow for more from Spring Vlog. <laughs> <laughs>